Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. Let us give you a few shortcuts to solve. Few questions. Okay. So, how will you solve 240 into 5? If you have to solve 240 into 5, I, I don't multiply 0, 5 is 0, 0, 4, 4 5 is 20, balance 2, 4, uh, 2, 5 is 10, 10 plus 2, 12. This is not the methodology. But I'll follow 240 into 5. I'll take half of 240. It is 120 and at the end, I'll multiply it by 10. 1200 is my answer. This is the shortcut you should follow and you should apply while solving the problems. Okay, this is the shortcut for into 5 multiplication. Okay, if I ask you a number 486 into 5, 795 into 5, half of 795, 3 and balance 1, 19, half of 19, 9 times, 15, 7 times, 397.5 into 10. So, 3975 is your answer. Okay, now 268 into 5, what is half of 268? 134. Okay, multiply. 10 at the end. 1340 is your answer. Now, do you all understand this concept? Okay, now if I take, see, if I ask you what is 66.66 percentage of 2400. Okay, if you know, do my normal method 66.66 into 100, sorry, divided by 100 into 2400. So, 0 and 0 will get cancelled. You have to multiply both the values, right? So, it is tough. Okay, see, I'll repeat. How will you do 66.66 percentage of 2400? 66.66 percentage will represent as 66.66 by 100 into 2400. You can cancel two zeros and you have to multiply 66.66 into 24. So it is tough, right? So instead of that, what you can do is 66.66 percentage is nothing but 2 by 3. 2 by 3 into 2400. 3 1 times 800. 800 into 2, 1600 is your answer. So, this is how you should work very smartly. See, I can also derive answer of 1200 from this methodology, but it will take time. But this is not the shortcut, but this is not the method you should follow. This is not the way you should solve. You should know that 66.66 percentage of 2400, 66.66 percentage, its fractional value is 2 by 3. Okay, and if I ask you, what is 87.5 percentage of Eighty-seven point five percentage is nothing but seven by eight into thousand. And keep it in mind, all the thousands, all the three-digit numbers are divisible by eight, and all the four-digit numbers are divisible by four. So this very, this is a very basic thing you have to know. And thousand eight hundred is what hundred times of eight, and remaining one twenty-five. Okay, seven into twenty-four. What is seven into one twenty-five? Seven into hundred. Seven hundred. Seven into twenty-five. 175 so 875 is your answer okay see since it is 1000 okay see if you cancel directly 87.5 by 100 into 1000 zero zeros will get cancelled 87.5 into 10 you'll get 875 but if i give you some difficult numbers like if i want to find out 87.5 percentage of 2400 what you will do you have to multiply 87.5 into 24 right Okay, instead of that, what I can do is 7 by 8 into 2400, 8 1 times 2400, 300 times. So, 7 into 300, 2100 is my answer. Okay, this is the shortcut which I follow while solving data interpretation part. That is your data analysis and sufficiency part. Okay, see if I give you numbers like 768 plus 244 plus 366. Can you tell me the answer? What is the answer now? Yes, come on. What is the answer? See, how will you do 768 plus 244 plus 366? Okay. Here, I'll add first 
hundreds part, then tens part, then zero units part. It is very easy. Seven hundred plus two hundred, nine hundred. Nine hundred plus three hundred, thousand two hundred. Sixty plus forty, hundred. Hundred plus sixty, one sixty. Eight plus four, twelve. Twelve plus six, eighteen. So one three seven eight is your answer. Okay, this is how you have to solve. Okay, see in data interpretation, they will give you some values. They will give you some number of employees in a company who are working in different departments. Uh, U, V, X, Y, Z. Okay, in the department U, there are seven ninety employees. In the department V, eight forty employees are there. In the department X. Five thirty-three employees are there, and in the department Y, six fifty-five employees are there, and in the department Z, seven eighty-two employees are there. So, if they ask you what is the average number of employees working in a in in the year nineteen eighty-seven in a company A B C, they can ask you like this. Okay, first, what do you have to do? You have to add all the values, right? Okay, if the options are very close to each other. You have to do the accurate calculations. What I will do is I'll add just hundred values first. Seven hundred plus eight hundred, thousand five hundred, two thousand, two thousand six hundred, thirty-three. See, three thousand three hundred. Then ninety plus forty, one thirty, one sixty, one sixty plus fifty, two ten, two ten plus eighty, two ninety, and three plus five, ten. So zero zero. Three thousand six hundred is your answer. So three thousand six hundred by five. What is three thousand six hundred by five? Seven times ten, two times seven twenty is your answer. Okay, do you understand this now? How to do approximate addition and subtraction? Okay, so these are the strategies you have to follow while cracking your. data analysis and sufficiency part learn to lead we make winners who lead